I'm confused. I don't know what to do in life. I don't know what I want. Why am I doing what am I doing? Why am I doing what I am doing? Have you ever had this kind of questions? This is the kind of question that a lot of us have at some point in life or the other. Now, one reason this comes is because we don't understand ourselves well. We have this desire to understand who we are. What are we? What is our strengths? What is our weaknesses? And knowing that can help us a lot. Imagine you knew what you're good at, what you're very good at, or what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses, what do you like, what do you dislike? And that could help you pick a job that you enjoy. For example, in my line of work, I talk to a lot of people. I talk to people. Now, if I'm someone who hated socializing, who was comfortable with my close circle and that's all, it's a wrong choice. This would have been a very wrong choice. But somehow, I enjoy talking to people. With that said, in this video, I am going to be helping you understand yourself. I am going to be giving you three ways to understand yourself well. Very practical, very applicable, very result oriented. With that said, let's begin. Hello guys, welcome to Models of Excellence, where we teach you tools, strategies, techniques to help you lead an excellent life. The first way to understand yourself better is to challenge yourself and put yourself out of comfort zone constantly. Now I know you would have heard this thousand times, get out of your comfort zone, get out of your comfort zone and they say you grow. What is this growth? You begin to understand yourself. For example, I never had the courage to go and speak on the stage. I never had it. It was bad. Like I could dance on the stage, but speaking is a whole different ball game. And then I had to learn it. I pushed myself out of comfort zone to only realize that I love talking to people. When I speak to people and when people's face light up and when people are like, ah, thank you for this message or thank you for this knowledge. It, I feel so happy. And that is something that I was able to understand when I pushed myself out of comfort zone. So try to challenge yourself. Try to do at least one challenging thing every single month or set a goal that you think is challenging to you. If you set a goal that you, you can reach easily, it's a waste of your time. It's not really worth it. Try to set a goal that is something that's a little bit out of your reach and start working on that. And that discomfort will help you understand a lot about yourself. You try things, you fail, you succeed and all these things will help you understand the things that you never thought would be there some thoughts, some ideas that you never thought you would like. It just comes up and you really understand yourself. So that is one way. Second way to understand yourself is personality tests. Now I know if you know me, I have said in the past that personality tests are bullshit. It doesn't work because what a human being is a complex creature. You cannot really bring it down to some uh, personality test and give a judgment that this person has this personality for the rest of their life. But I started listening to Jordan Peterson, who is a clinical psychologist, who is also a professor, psychology professor in Toronto University. And his speech on personality test will change how you think about it. I also took one of the personality tests. It's called uh, the Big Five Theory Personality Test. It measures you on five different uh, categories. First one is openness. Second one is extroversion or extroversion. Uh, O-C-E-A. Okay, the other one is uh, conscientiousness. The, the next one, the fourth one is agreeableness. And the fifth one is neuroticism. And when I took it, it was kind of accurate. Now, here's what I'll tell you. When taking personality tests, carefully pick them. The thing that I took, I'm very sure it was not 100% right. But to an extent, it was right. To an extent, it was. Which is a large extent. I think it's about 80-85% accurate. So, this will help you understand. But don't, don't think of this as the final judgment. And by the way, people who use Myers, Briggs, that INTJ, NFJ, it's discredited. People have said that it's no more accurate enough. 
at the time it was at the time it was a very good work right now it isn't so check out by big five personality test or you can go to uh, google and type jordan peterson uh, big five personality test and you can pay and get a personality test done according to him it's kind of accurate like very accurate <clears throat> in his test so you can try that out as well but to an extent you will get a picture of who you are which is amazing third one confront negative emotions about other people and get feedback i had to stuff the feedback in so that it would be three but confront negative emotions and uh, get feedback sometimes when we look at some people what they say or what they speak we hate something about it like we like i don't like this person when a friend of you does that ask them why a lot of times they're like i don't know just something about them now one of the philosophers who's a greek philosopher i don't know the exact quote but he was telling something that look whatever you dislike in others you must look for within yourself if you have that right sometimes we dislike others because whatever we dislike in ourselves might be there or it's something like that but i'll tell you what when you start to ask yourself why you don't like a particular person or what do you not like about them it's never about that person a lot of times it's about you right maybe you believe in something and if this is against your belief you completely discard it now for example if you believe god exists and if somebody says god doesn't exist you hating them is not good and i'll tell you why in example of whether god exists or not you can prove both the things you can prove that god doesn't exist to the believers you can also prove god exists to the non believers if they listen enough and it's something that we frankly don't know we don't understand the concept of god as well so when you confront people who have different opinions other than you you understand that you could be wrong and it helps you grow right instead of having blind faith it helps you get clarity on things now for example i used to be into motivation and stuff and things like that right now i don't really give motivational speeches i'm not into motivational stuff the reason being you watching any of the videos feeling motivated and just sitting there and then doing nothing is not going to help if i give you something practical that you can get up take action and get results that's what works it's getting you results otherwise it's utterly useless and that i was only able to understand once i admitted to myself that look motivation isn't everything in fact it's not much it's not worth much it's just an emotion other than that you still need strategy techniques practicality application there's so many other things which are more important and that's when i started learning more things learning some deep concepts learning some applicable practical concepts that are away from motivation which is more usable so confront people who you don't who you don't agree with it help you understand about yourself as well what is it that you don't like why is it that you don't like now these are deep questions you may not be comfortable answering these but i can assure you that it will help you now the other part of it is feedback ask people feedback now i was taking this account because some of some people when they tell you they give you very good feedback ask your mentor or ask your coach or ask your teacher right because what you think about yourself other people don't don't think that you may think you're not good at something or you're good at something when you ask other person their perspective that's when you kind of feel like okay maybe this maybe that my accounts teacher told me something that i never expect he was talking to all of us okay and he said you know what all you guys we were on a conference call uh it was many students and he was he was teaching us and he was like you know what guys let me tell you what is all your weaknesses okay try not to do this thing go and study but i'll tell you why is there what is weak in all of you can i tell that we said okay sir tell us so to one person he said you know what you're very careless you don't care enough while doing the sums and she and that person was like yeah that's that's true and don't tell now don't put in the comments like that's vague we are all careless and all that this person was a little more careless to the other person he comes and he says you know what you don't even read any questions 
and that person was like yeah i don't really read the questions properly i try to answer it without that and then he comes to me he's like abhishek i'll tell you what your weak at what is your weakness can i tell that i'm like okay sir tell me he said this uh, this was very accurate i did not expect this he said abhishek if you feel like you know something if you feel like the sum is easy or you kind of know it you won't even do it i was like yes i have that nature like if i feel like i kind of know the sum i'm skipping that so that is something that i never realized like i kind of knew i had it but it was not very conscious thing i was doing it very subconsciously and once he told that next time i was doing the sums even if i felt like i kind of knew it i used to every time i felt like i knew the sum i had to give it a second thought i had to look at it a second time second time and 9 out of 10 times when i did that i realized that i did not know the sum properly i had to try the sum to understand what it was how 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 to solve it so with that said guys all these things work well go ahead apply if you have any techniques to understand yourself better then drop it in the comments let us all learn from each other with that said if you felt like you learned something valuable if you felt like you are ready to understand yourself then leave a like and hit that subscribe button so that you wouldn't miss amazing videos like this that we put out with that said this is abhishek signing off and i will see you in the next video goodbye